I teach about sexuality, but what does that mean? Sexuality is about more than having sex, and I'm going to tell you all about it in today's video. Hilton, the Sexual Health Outreach Coordinator for the University of Regina Students' Union. Welcome to our YouTube channel where I share sex positive sex education for post-secondary students. Today I'm answering the question, what is sexuality? Sexuality encompasses more than the physical act of having sex. It also includes physical, chemical, emotional, intellectual, social, and cultural aspects. When we view sex in this way, we are able to recognize the importance of our sexuality, even if we aren't sexually active or desire to be sexually active. The World Association for Sexual Health defines sexuality as, sexuality is a central aspect of being human throughout life. It encompasses sex, gender identities and roles, sexual orientation, eroticism, pleasure, intimacy, and reproduction. Sexuality is experienced and expressed in thoughts, fantasies, desires, beliefs, attitudes, values, behaviors, practices, roles, and relationships. While sexuality can include all of these dimensions, not all of them are always experienced or expressed. A great way to explain sexuality is using Dennis Daly's circles of sexuality. Each circle represents an aspect of our sexuality. Let's explore them a little more. First circle is sensuality. Our sensuality includes our physical senses, the awareness and the experience of them. It also includes the awareness and experiences of our body, including our body image, exploring or sharing the bodies of others, and not just with sex. Sensuality is our experience of all kinds of pleasure, seeking, exploring, and experiencing it either alone or with others. The next circle is intimacy. Intimacy is our ability and desire for closeness with others. It includes sharing, caring, emotional risk-taking, and vulnerability. Sex can be a way to explore intimacy, and sometimes sex is not about intimacy. Sexual orientation and gender identity is the next circle. Gender identity is our feeling, sense, or understanding of who we are related to our gender. Sexual orientation is about what parts gender plays in the sexual feelings and desires we experience, want, or are part of with other people. Biases, stereotypes, and fears can sometimes play a role in this area. The next circle is sexual and reproductive health. This circle includes the information we have about sexual anatomy, sexual activities, reproduction, contraception, prevention, and self-care. It also includes all of the messages we're given along the way with this kind of information. Included in this circle are our experiences of sexual wellness and illness, and that includes ability and disability. And finally, this circle also encompasses having emotionally healthy sexual relationships. And finally, the last circle in our holistic view of sexuality is sex. <laughs> this circle encompasses what we or others actively do sexually to explore or to express our sexuality. It includes what happens with our body parts, as well as the inclusion of toys or other objects in sexual activity. Even if we have a desire for a sexual behavior, but we haven't done it yet, this is still part of our sexuality as well. We also find masturbation in this circle. And finally, what we don't want to do can be a part of our sexuality as well. All of the circles meet at the middle circle to formulate your values and in turn your agency and power as a sexual human. Power is the ability and the capacity to do something. It can be about strength or force or the ability to exercise control over ourselves or others. Agency is a sociological and philosophical term that addresses a person's capacity to act. What a person has the right, ability, 
or power to do. This varies between people depending on class, race, gender, and ability. Power and agency also show up in smaller situational ways, like in a relationship. It influences our sense of self-worth, the understanding of our sexual preferences, as well as our values. The most important thing to understand about sexuality is that it is self defined. Every person is allowed to talk about and understand their own sexuality in their own way that makes sense to them. Sexuality is dynamic and it's always changing. We might discover that different parts of our lives interact with each other in confusing or affirming ways. This is okay and it's part of our normal development. Exploring our own sexuality with an awareness of the principles of consent and sexual rights is a key determinant of our health and wellness. If you'd like to have a stronger connection with your sexual self, we suggest taking some time to consider the circles of your sexuality through journaling or having a conversation with a friend or a partner about each of the aspects of your sexuality. Having this foundation for understanding yourself will help you to make considered decisions around all aspects of your sexuality. We'd love to know what you thought of this video. Share your thoughts in the comments below, like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.